program I wrote that simulates a solar system with the user having the choice to input the number of bodies, their masses, initial positions, initial velocities, and the x and y coordinates and images. Also, let me clarify that initial positions is res with respect to the sun being the center at x equals zero and y equals zero meters. We'll also go by simple Newtonian kinematics and the assumptions that the system is in two dimensions namely vertical and horizontal, and that one complete revolution is 365 days. In reality, it's slightly more than 365. On your birthday, for example, the Earth isn't at the same place on the XY plane as it was the previous year. It's actually a little bit less. So one complete Earth year in technical terms for revolutions is slightly more than one year. But these assumptions allow us for abstraction to work. So we'll go by them. Now, first of all, let me show a simple demonstration of n equals two bodies with planet Earth and the sun. So please bear with me. So go with two bodies that popped up initial position of earth by the way this is with respect to the sun exactly six months into the calendar year so please bear with me again while i type in this information on my notepad that i got from my research By the way, this E4 signifies 2.98 times 10 to the fourth. So we're using base 10 scientific notation. Now we'll pick the correct file for this. Just earth, yeah. Now we're going to input the sun. Remember, all these planets or all the bodies are with respect to the sun. So the x position zero, y position zero, initial velocity zero, zero kilograms, 1.989 times 10 to 30th. So let's go see our model after pick this photo. All right, well, looky, looky. Over here signifies what our solar system would look like and how the Earth would revolve around the sun, given that these were the only two bodies in the solar system. Notice that there's no other force of the eight other planets pulling on the Earth. So we only have centripetal acceleration that's affecting its trajectory. Now let's go look at a more realistic model. Let's give a more realistic example. Let's go run our program again. show you the sanity checks I implemented. Namely, I checked that the number of bodies is a positive integer, that the distances from the sun is within the radius of our galaxy, and that if we do input the sun, namely position x and y are both zero, we double the sun's size. So for example, Enter number of bodies, papai, 3.141592, so six. Uh-huh, number of bodies must be an integer. It must be greater than zero. So let's go re-enter. We'll say 
two. And now we could input the correct information as we normally should expect. So for example, let's go try a weird position that's out of bounds. Right here we see the radius of the universe is 2.5 times 10 to the 11 meters. So let's put something larger than that, 10 to the 12, for example. And we see the program rejects it and asks the user to re-input a value. So if we type something negative, for example, which can be possible, which will just be on the left side of our XY plane. The program also checks that it's within bounds because we use the absolute value method in the math library of Java. So now let's put something that's sensical, 2.5 times one. And now for this, let's go put in some strings, a string. The program now tells us that it has to be a number. And yeah, that's our sanity check.